can he add to the goals he scored already this season? He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. We're here to describe the action for you. Nice to have you with us. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. It's Bournemouth playing today against Sheffield Wednesday. Well, just to check on the visitors here, they have been exceptional in their away matches. Actually, they've got the best away record in the league. I don't know what the secret is, but to get nine wins in 16 games, it's bound to breed an awful lot of confidence. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. It does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre-forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his teammates some company. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Well, it looks like all hands to the defensive pump. At least they've got two forwards. Yes, and uh, hopefully they will get some service, but uh, it is capable, this shape, of being pretty negative. Sheffield Wednesday Thank you. really out to prove a point today, not to be affected by that home defeat in their last match, that loss against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah, I mean, a little unlucky in that 1-0 defeat. And uh, I think they'll have a bit more fortune here and get a draw. Terrific uh, entertainment uh, on offer here, I'm sure, as the game gets underway. Gary Hooper. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Good defensive clearance there. Cook able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Cook. Lema read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. And in he goes with the tackle. Cook. Lema. Pugh. Cook. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Can really get and here's the shot saw the goal and went for it good save well defended not just he's one on one with the goalkeeper it's a fast start here they deserve that goal they've been the better team early on It's a very good goal. I think they were a bit caught out because that's supposed to be his weaker foot and the defender just switched off for a moment. Yeah, and look at the way he did take it. Maybe he's been working on that weaker side on the training ground. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Number 16, Lewis Cook. Crisp defending there. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Treads it through. To get the equaliser, he's refused to be beaten here. Well, standing ovation from the fans, and why not? What a stop. Sheffield Wednesday have a corner.
corner played into the middle. Keep up well to punch the corner. Now they've got to defend this corner. I can't see this too many times, this goal. Well, he certainly struck it with an awful lot of power. And whether the keeper should have done better, I'm not so sure. Well, here comes the corner. Got up well, but couldn't keep it down. Oh, the keeper was rooted to the spot, wasn't going to get there. Cook. And now he's looking for some support. He's a good crosser normally, but that's not a good cross. Goal kick. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture, Bournemouth and they'll be facing Fulham away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Cook. Here's Ibe. Come away with the ball cleanly. Great tackle. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Cook. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. It's Jordan Ive. It's a corner. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close. And in it goes. Wonderful defending on the line, stopping the goal. Cleared away by the defender. Quick-witted and quick in this movement too to intercept there. Untidy work. A real problem if he loses the ball. Saw the pass coming and got there first. I oh, spotted the pass and cut it out. Well, they're in a good position here. It's Jordan Ive. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Oh, what a cheeky attempt. Very cheeky in the circumstances. And goalkeepers hate being chipped. They do, don't they? I mean, he conveyed his thoughts, really, the lad trying to score, and the keeper read it quickly. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Here's Ibe. The referee's going to take action here. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one, yellow. No surprise there at all. Again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. from goal Sam Hutchinson they've lost the ball and the counter-attack could be there frustrating for them really that was the opportunity to play on the break but it's broken down able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement the, and the board shows them three added minutes of three minutes Cook Lema Good piece of defending to stop the supply into the centre. Augustinsson. 
Looking good, this move. Hugh. He's had a look at the ref, he knows what's coming. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref, he reached for his pocket straight away. No uh, hesitation from him. You can see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge, but it's definitely a foul. Well, he saw the ball and he thought he could win it. I mean, it always looks worse in slow motion, doesn't it? But he was just a fraction off there. Well, he can't go for goal, but it is a dangerous situation, this, because uh, if he gets it on the money, it's going to be hard to defend. Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Not according to plan, this for the visiting team, who have been so good away, they've been so poor. Well, they've still got time to come back, but for me, the home team, deservedly in the lead. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Gary Hooper. Must score! They stopped him in the nick of time. Lema. Cook. Quick change of possession here. Sam Hutchinson lost the ball. Cook. Lema. Augustinson. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Barry Bannon. They've cut the pass out there. And maybe that will ease the pressure. Lema. Gone in a bit crudely, I think, with that one, but they've kept the ball. Referee says play off. Ref's gone back to deal with that earlier incident, yellow card. He's one of my favourite refs, he doesn't miss much, this lad. These days, going off your feet like that is running so the risk of the referee taking serious action. When you attempt to slide tackle like that, you've got to time it perfectly, and he did. We're going to get substitutions from both managers. Augustinson. Sheffield Wednesday man is uh, penalised here. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I mean, on another day, he might have got a red for that. It was a really dangerous challenge. It's been another good day. I say another good day. It's not easy playing up front. You know, you did it for many years and very successfully. And that's a, a successful outing for this forward today. I thought he might be up against it, actually, against this defence, but nothing of the sort. He was top dog. Goalkeeper hangs on. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. And here they are on the attack. Maybe took his eye off the ball. Augustinson. Lema. Cook. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. And shoots! Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly.
try his luck. Just couldn't keep it down. Not at all. It's way over the bar. Well, when you're winning by a goal, a manager wants to see his team put the game to bed, but they couldn't do it there with that miss. Lema, neatly intercepted. Tom Lees, Mohamed Diame. As for the manager in the away dugout, he's shouting at his team. I think the message is to get into the faces of the opposition, press higher up. Well, they've got to be careful because they're leaving some spaces in behind now. Gives it away. Lema. Pugh. Augustinson just working away to try and find an opening. That's a clever pass. The ball really travels these days when the goalkeepers kick it. Pew. Lema. He's got to play it back to the goalkeeper. Still, as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. Well, the cross has gone in, but there's no one there to get on the end of it. He's had a go, that. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. And the shot... Had plenty of conviction, but it had too much height. Yeah, it would have been a worldie, that, and uh, he's capable of it, but not today. Substitution for Sheffield Wednesday. Well, he's Coming got options on the bench, of course. Number 45, Fernando Forrester. To be replaced by number seven, Boris Nogba. It's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation. They're encouraged by the lead, but they're fearful. The shot's on! Was a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with the connection either. Eighty-five minutes played, five to go. I think he saw the look from the other player. Well, that's a foul. He has been booked. It's the kind of challenge that, when you're carrying a yellow card, carries a bit of risk, too much risk for him here. He's sent off. Yeah, as soon as he went into it, I thought he was in trouble, and I think he realised that as well. That looked a bit dangerous, Alan. Well, in this day and age, always risky going to ground like that, and some refs will... Uh, Think that he was not in control of his actions. Well, there was an opening. He couldn't quite get the ball through it. Robert Snodgrass. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Albert Stinson. Three minutes to be added on. It's given away. Guided through. Interception hit. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance.
Robert Snodgrass still trying to get forward here, still trying to get the goal that can help them to some sort of salvation. And it's finished here. Well, it's over. There wasn't much love lost between these two teams, and at times it got rather ugly. It did. He needed eyes in the back of his head there at times. It was non-stop. Well, this has not gone according to the plans of the visiting team. They've had this excellent away record, but it's been dented here. And I think deservedly beaten. The home team were better, really, from start to finish. Well defended, not just... He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They've been the better team early on. Treads it through. To get the equaliser. He's refused to be beaten here. Well, stand innovation from the fans, and why not? What a stop. Referee's going to take action here. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. Hugh. He's had a look at the ref. He knows what's coming. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref. He beat... Sheffield Wednesday man is uh, penalised here. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I think... Going to tie his lock. Just couldn't keep it down. Not at all. It's way up the bar. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. I think he saw the look from the other... Well, that's a foul. He has been booked. It's the kind of challenge that, when you're carrying a yellow card, carries a bit of risk, too much risk for him. <laughs>